What's up, everybody? This is Tim from LiveCaseBreak.com. It is Friday, August 21st, 2015. 4.30 Eastern, we have our BGS sub. This is the one from the National. Back safe and sound. we cut this open and look at everybody's grades. It's a pretty good sub. Most of the stuff came in 9.5 or higher. A couple 9s. A few 8.5s because... Uh, they actually messed up on that. We had a minimum 9 on this, and it looks like there are a couple 8.5s that got slabs. So maybe we'll get a discount on the next order or something like that. So let me grab a couple main plates here and a marker, and we will be good to start. I'm trying out a new mic and a new cam today, so feel free to let me know if it's working well or if the mic is a little off maybe. I know Jeff said the sound was a little duller. So, still got to get used to it. All right. Good luck, everybody. A couple big cards in here. Whitney's Lindor Red Refractor Auto from 2011 Chrome. Probably the biggest. A couple of Reese Labs in here, too. Not a big submission, though. No, not a ton of cards. Oh, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe, maybe not. There's the old cube. These will be shipped out Monday, guys. For anybody wondering, uh, you'll receive your bills over the weekend. Probably not going to get them out today. There's one of our cards right on the top, and one of Jim's. The Pele. Looks like the Pele got an 8.5. What's that? Yep. Or if you got a spot out there, you want to keep it, doesn't matter. I kind of use that one as the supply shelf, so that's fine. You can move those balls up on the top there, not even supposed to be there. There's a 10. 110. Okay. So, I'm turn it sideways. First one out is a Abreu Mint 9. I'm going to need to turn this down a little bit. You can. Let's see. That's as low as she goes. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, we'll go a little bit higher, maybe. Commit nine on the Abreu. That was ours, so that one will be up for sale. Yeah, five star, not too bad of a grade. Got to learn the new camera. Figure out how to surf or <laughs> get it. Ah, uh, corners are what did it in, of course. Nine fives everywhere except the corners. That'll happen. Alright, so LCD 0 for 1. <laughs> 25 bucks. You know it. <laughs> Bring me 5 star, let me cross that off the list. Okay. Jim, your pair got an 8 5, which isn't too shabby. I was hoping for a 9. Hoping for a 9. Uh, the corners, again, did it in. Corners with an 8. The corners had held up, it would have got a 9. But. That's five star. That was from thirteen five star. Nice card for you, Jim. Mark off that Pele. Eight five. I mean, it's still not a bad grade for five star. Most five stars are eight fives and nines. Nine fives are extremely rare. Tens are unheard of. Cool card though. All right, so that's Jim. 
get a nameplate here for Jim. I think you had one other card, Jim, your KB Finest short print, I believe. Yeah, that was a Nemo offer right there, Jeff. <laughs> All right. Speaking of Nemo, I was going to razz you about this, but I just can't bring myself to do it. <laughs> How about that, buddy? Pristine 10. Fraser Mini Super. And that is nice. That was your national, uh, one of your national pickups, brother. BGS 10, half a point away. The centering, as I told you, it was off. The centering is what kept it from black labeling. Let's take a look at the back centering. That's what was so bad. Yeah. Tiny little gap on the bottom. Huge gap up top. Well, wow, that is still amazing. That's a super and a 10. So, that is nice. Greg, congrats. You are one for one. One for one. All right, next up. Uh, let's see, we got a no grade here first. No grade is as known, Ryan. Does not meet the minimum grade of nine. Thought it could have squeezed a nine for you. Let's see who that was. No one, Ryan, was Mr. Studley. So yeah, this would have been an eighty-five run. I don't, they screwed up on this because they slabbed some of the A5s. I think I had the, the Pele pegged to slab regardless. And the other ones were supposed to be minimum 9. So they screwed up on a couple of these. Uh, let's see. They didn't give us anything. They just crossed off the center and quarters edges and surface. So I don't know. I don't know what was wrong with it. I mean, it was a little rough, but it was still very nice for memories buyback. Maybe a potential uh, regrade candidate. You might be able to squeeze a nine out of that. Let me mark these down for Studley. All right, Mr. Stud. Anyway, that was another 8.5. That was one we sent in. Uh, apparently, the corners were destroyed because everything else on that is perfect. Nelson Gomez. I didn't see anything wrong with the corners myself. And now I see it. 9 out of 50. Bottom left and bottom right are very soft. Well, that's interesting. The only answer is 9 5. That's uh, interesting. Alright, that one's ours. So it's 0 for 2 for LCB. 0 for 2. Oh for three. <laughs> Our Sega 101. Oh for three. Eight five and they even gave us a nine on the auto. We knew this card was brutal. Just wanted to see if we could possibly get a nine out of it. It's in very rough shape. We bought this from the customer that hit it at the national. Oh for three for L C B. We need some help. Well actually I guess our uh, Bray was okay. Uh, Danny, your Trey Turner Red got a 9. How the centering got a 9.5 on that, I do not know. Edges and corners, 8, 5, and 9 on the Trey Turner. 3 out of 5, that's a 89 red refractor. So you just let me know what you want me to do with that. Uh, if you want me to send it to your Cobb C, I can uh, do that for you. Probably would do better on Com C to be honest with you. Surface and centering, perfect nine fives. Just those darn edges and corners. That was Danny. A little bit, but these are uh, these are most of the rough cards from this submission. Overall, this was a really good one. There's some good stuff coming later. I mean, we got the tight on the super too. That was a big card for this. Uh, is this it? No, this is Whitney's Lindor base. 9510 cleaned up beautifully. 95's quads. 
That is you, Whitney. There's your Lindor base. Nice card. Beautiful. KB Shimmer, 9.5 for Tyler. That was one of our big pulls from the National. 2014 Chrome. Uh, triple 9.5 is a centering got a 9. That's what I was worried about. So, perfect. Still gemmed for you. 10 out of 15 on that bracket. Down, Tyler. Let me put that right in a sleeve. Team bag, uh, sleep up all these actually as we go. When he's one for one, Tyler batted one for one. He's that's all he had. All right, next up, that's ours. So we finally scored with a gem. Nine five, Devers mini red. Four out of five on that. I really thought that was going to uh, 10. Centering a perfect front and back. Somehow the centering only got a 9.5. Uh, corners 9. Everything else 9.5. So, there we go. LCB 1 for 4. 1 uh, for 4. Uh, there's your bias, Whitney. Quad 9.5s. Nice little gem there. I thought that was a refractor auto, but that's just a base. Very nice. I feel like we should play Eye of the Tiger or something during these BGS subs. Speaking of, let me get some music on. Garcia, that was one we bought from Alex. Uh, blue Twitter Refractor. Uh, one out of ten on the Dumas. Another gem for LCB. Finally. Last two. Next up, this is out of 75. 
Dom Smith Green. Uh, let's see. Who was that? Was that Danny's? I believe that was Danny's. Yes, it was. Garcia Blue. Ah, uh, okay. Cool. Dom Smith Green Refractor Danny Quad 95s on that. Nice a gem for a dollar off. Seal that backwards a while. <laughs> Alright. Next up. There you go, Whitney. Three for three. Three for three. Trout Crow Rookie from 2011 draft. We got too much light in here. A little bit of a reflection off the cards. All right, three for three for Whitney. JP Crawford base nine five ten. I believe that was Ed. Ed M. You had two of these, so your first one is a gem. Quad nine fives on that, Ed. Nice card, buddy. Um, Ed. Another trout for Whitney. That was your refractor. Your refractor 95 as well. Quads. Whitney batting four for four today. Back today. Okay, here it is. One of the biggest cards in the sub. Well, the biggest card in the sub. Whitney, congratulations. Your Lindo Red Bowman Chrome Quad 9.5s. And I magically got you a ton on that auto. <laughs> well, I didn't. Beckett did. Awesome card. Awesome card. Big money right there. So five for five for Whitney. She's got one card left of George Springer Auto. So we'll see if she went perfect uh, six for six. Awesome card. Absolutely awesome. That's one of the bigger cards we've had uh, through the grading. The gemmed. Okay, this was a Bryant short print and a nine. Quarters. Quarters got you, Jim. I think that was Jim, right? KB finest short print, yep. The mid nine, centering nine five all around, except for the corners, got an eight five. Huh. I don't see that, Jim. These quarters look perfect. I mean, little tiny nicks, but not anything to drop it to an 8.5. Boy. Tough grade. Tough grade. Let me bag up that in your Pele. Jim, 0 for 2. I mean, if you want to consider the Pele an 0 for. Even though it's an A5, it's still an awesome card.
Hey, they did get a 10 on the auto, by the way. <clears throat> Jim, Jim, Jim. I think this is Whitney's last one. Yes, it is. 9, 5, 10. George Springer. And you got a 10 on the edges on that, Whitney. Springer Refractor Auto. I thought it was a Springer Base. I don't even have it listed as a Refractor. Very nice. Let me just make sure nobody else had a uh, Springer Refractor. I'm pretty sure that one was yours, though. 646 for Whitney on her submission. Awesome. 211 out of 500 on that for what? Okay, are there 10? Ooh, it is. Ah, oh, Danny, that is an awesome card. Generations Pools at a 25, pristine 10. 3 out of 25, the centering, 9.5. Ah, oh, so close. So damn close. Still no black label for us, man. One of these damn submissions were on there. I mean, I would have thought the center would have been perfect on that. Where do they even grade it? Uh, I guess here and here. Yeah, that's a little off. Little off. God, one of these times, I tell you. 10, 10, 10. Centering on 9, 5, Danny. Awesome card. I know that one's going back to you for the PC. That's awesome. Just need to get it signed. They silver ink on a. Alright, so Diddy, you are. Let's see. Two for three so far. Two for three with the Turner getting a red. Or with the red Turner getting an egg. Alright, next up. Another Crawford. Another 9 5. Gem for Ed. Nice card, Ed. Two for two, Ed. Two for two. Okay. Jack Peterson, Japan. Man, those damn corners. Perfect card. Edges and corners, gotcha. Uh, mid nine. That was uh, Pearson Japan. I said that was Mike. Yeah, Mikey. Twenty five out of twenty five on the jack. Uh, uh, corner uh, corners didn't look that bad, but that's Japan factors for you. So mid nine on the jack for Mikey. Grab this one off the back. Eh, it's stuck in there, never mind. Okay, next up, an Aaron Nola 9510. Nice card. Very nice. Uh, let's see who's got that. The Nola, I want to say, was Ed. Yep, Ed. That's all you. Three for three so far, Ed. Three for three. Quad 9.5s on the Nola. Just like your JPs, man. 3 of 4 3. Okay, this one is ours, and it's a 9. Bryant Japan. Bryant Japan. Uh, same thing got us. They got Mikey. Those corners, 8.5 on the Sterlings. 18 out of 25 on the Bryant. 
There we go. Got 10 in the center. Most of them do. 9510 <laughs> on the Frazier Emerald. Whose was that? Stubbly. There you go. You're one for two now, Stubbly. I think that was a reset, wasn't it, Stubbly? Wasn't that one reset in before you got a nine? I thought, anyways, I could be wrong. Nice emerald auto out of 10 for Mr. Stubb. Let's see, where's your other stuff? Right there. Slide that no grade in the back of this. The Nolan Ryan. Got a mint nine. That, oh, those are some weird subs. Weird subs, man. So that one is for Stubby. One for three now, Stubby. Seven out of twenty-five in the Buxton. Uh, you got nines on the centering and surface, and then nine fives on the corners and edges. That is bizarre. Very bizarre. So one for three for Mr. Stud. You got one card left to save your sub on. Uh, Mookie Betts. Alright, I believe this is Stevie C. KB Gold. Stevie C. Nice card, buddy. Nine fives all around. Nine on the corners. Ten on the auto, of course. A little gem action there. Eleven out of twenty-five. And I've been waiting a while for that one, Stevie. Supposed to get snuck in the last submission, but I couldn't get it in in time. Alrighty, nice card for us here. For Matt Hardy action, Quad 95 from 2011 Bowman Platinum. That was a redemption we got back. Can I get this camera to focus a little bit more? There we go, got to angle the light. Alright, so Harvey, so we got finally got another 95 to add to ours. Nice card. Joe, if you're watching this, let me know if you're interested, buddy. That's his first prospect auto. Beautiful on card. Oh, what's up? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I don't know where the big bubble mirrors are. Yeah. They're right out there. They're on top of the uh, table. Yeah, let me show you. Hold on, guys. Screw it back. was that? Mr. Nemo. Another 9-5 for you, buddy. Nice card.
The daylight in here is extremely bright, guys. Messing with the uh, autofocus just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Greg, I believe you are two for two now, brother. Two for two. Get that Frasier. If anybody missed it earlier in the sub, Greg's Frasier Mini Super. Ten. Okay, that one is ours. And the corners got us again. Those damn 13 stones. Sort of Japan on a rock. That was the one we bought from you, brother. Mint 9. 2 out of 5 on that card. It definitely had some white on the corners. I wasn't expecting, uh, I wasn't even expecting a 9, honestly. <laughs> the solar? Or that Buxton? So, yeah. In quarters, they get you. Alright, this is uh, your first miss, Lindor Japan, Greg. So we're betting two for three. Uh, quarters, again, let's do Gotcha. Lindor Japan, Otto. There we go. Get that white bulb out of there. Still a beautiful card, man. Couldn't quite squeeze the uh, the 9-5 out. Alright. Last couple cards here. Then Marco Gonzalez. That is Ed. Another 9-5 for Ed. Chugging along, man. 3 for 3. 4 for 4, actually. Two JPs, your Nola, and now your Marco. Oh, very nice. Okay, glass now, I'm going to 9-5 with a 10 on the auto because streaky auto. So another gem for you, Ed. Nice, cool. Yeah, damn quarters. I thought I might be able to sneak a nine, so I'm mean, happy I got a nine. I knew it wasn't a nine five. Another gem for you, Ed. Okay, fourteen stone card. There we go, Mr. Stubb. We got another 9 5. Your Mookie. Mookie out of 125. Next card. There's Mr. Stubby. What's up, man? Uh, we're almost at the end. Almost at the end. Got uh, 10 slabs left, it looks like. That was yours, though. Little Mookie 9 5. Action. Okay, awful grade for us, our brave uh, Clary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't sound so good, man. Sorry. I'll make sure not to breathe on your cards. <laughs> uh, so yeah, our brave did not do good. That was one we uh, bought from Alex too. Swing and a miss! It was in rough shape. The edges got an 8. <laughs> and the uh, quarters got a 9. Hey, we got 9 5 on the surface and centering at least. Woo! Oh, that's rough. Okay, Varga, 9 5 10. 
That is Danny, I believe. Donny! Another gem for you. Oh, they will. No, we get, I think we got it down, man. I think we got it down. I don't think we have any more cards going to the Caribbean for swims. Well, unless UPS just takes a liking. One of the delivery guys takes a liking to it. Then you might not see it again. So that probably was at 99 for Danny. Wow, awesome card. Danny, congrats. I forgot about this hit. Lou Brock, finest greats auto. Gemmed. 10 on the centering, 9 fives all around. That's nice. For Danny, awesome. Isn't it cool seeing the cards you pull slabbed and graded? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. They nice said, Danny, Brock Greats, that concludes your submission. So I gotta think you're pretty damn happy. Four out of five, the only one that missed was the uh, Turner Red. They nice said, Danny. Okay, hey, we got something nice, finally. Solar Gold Chrome, that's our last card in the sub. So at least we ended it on a bang. Ten on the surface, triple nine fives. A little gem action. Gold Rookie Auto out of 50 from Bowman Chrome. Well, Bowman. Nice card for us. We have six slabs left. Michael Franco! Is that Ed? Boy, Ed, you had the great, uh, you, you might have had the best average overall, buddy. Another 9 5 for you, another gem. Quad 9 5s. I think you had quad 9 5s on every one of your cards. Every single one, I believe. Korea Sterling gem. Very nice. We have the Korea Sterling Nemo. Well, oh, Greg, you're having a hell of a uh, submission too, buddy. Quad nine fives. Yeah, Ron, we're doing the next sub in about a week and a half, so sub it as soon as you can. We got a very fair amount of cards in. <coughs> there you go, Greg. Has Greg missed on a card yet? I think he missed on his Lindor Japan. I think that was it. Sounds good. Perfect. Okay, these were the two re slabs. Uh, very nice cards. Tanner, you had the Syndergaard. Wicked nice subs on that. Out of 15. So they've got it a nice new slab. No chips, no scratches, no. Nothing missing off it. Tanner will ship that out to you. I don't know if you paid for the grading already or not, Taylor. I'll have to check through. I don't think I had you pay yet, but maybe I did. And Andy, this was your Korea, which is a really hot card right now. 9-5, all around, 10 on the edges out of 15. Beautiful hit. Canary Diamond Korea. Sweet card. Last two cards, I believe, are Greg's. I think. Pretty sure. So this was Andy. There you go. Andy, and uh, last two cards should be Greg. Wow. 
All right, Greg, this is definitely your best submission with us ever. First one, got your 9 5 10 on your 12 Sterling Harper. I think I told you not to send this in. This might have been that one. Told you the surface was too rough. It buffed up, though. Buffed up pretty well. Uh, three down fives and a quarter. Quarter's got a nine. Nice Harper, though. Twelve sterling on a rookie auto. There you go, Greg. And the last card in the sub. I think we're only one of these to get a gem the entire uh, sub. Ah, uh, Stubby, you had one, two, three, four. You had four. Greg, got gotcha, you nine, five on your Xander Bogarts Japan Fractor, buddy. Nice hit. Beautiful. And that's it. The next sub will be in two weeks, guys, so send your stuff to me as soon as possible. It's 4 Paul Street. Well, Live Case Break LLC, CO, BGS Submissions. 4 Pearl Street, Canton, New York, 13617. That's the address to send to. Two weeks, basically, to get your stuff in for the next one. It's going to be a long sub this one. We're going to do a 30 day. So it's going to be cheaper, too. There you go. Congrats, man. I think Greg stole the show a little bit there. Whitney uh, went 6 for 6. She might have stole the show, too. Greg and Whitney stole the show. Now, Xander was 2 out of 5, for anybody that didn't know. <laughs> What's up, Jeff? Yeah, we just did a quick BGS reveal video. Show people their greens. Fun stuff. You did because you were logged in most of the night. <laughs> That's fine. 